I'm Liz Jennifer, I work for AHDB. I'm here at the site of Grass and Muck, a show in May 2017, and I'm here to talk about how to use a plate meter. Grass producers use plate meters to measure grass. It produces a kilo of dry matter per hectare figure, which they then can use to work out how to graze it and manage that grass. Most producers who are using a rotational grazing system will be measuring grass weekly. The frequency will change depending on how the grass is growing, but most people will be going out weekly. Other tools are also available, so some beef and sheep farmers may choose to use sword sticks or compressed sword sticks, and there's also tools that provide an app that allows that data to be uploaded automatically. So once those grass producers have been out and measured their fields, they'll bring the figures generally back into their farm office. They then use software on Excel sheets to then process those numbers. What those systems do is calculate average grass growth and they'll also allocate feed to those uh, future grazing rotations. So this is a typical plate meter. So what you have here is a plate that is suspended by the grass and then there's a shaft that this is the section that hits the floor and then on this version we have a box, it's an electronic version and then the box does the calculations for us and then there's just a handle that helps as we move across the field. So on this particular plate meter you switch it on with a switch at the back and then as you turn it round the display starts to be live. So this display shows the previous measurement, so that's 1984 and what's really important when we start measuring a new field is to make sure that's zero. On this version, you press and hold that button and the screen goes back to zero. The other thing also that's important to check is, is that grass can get stuck underneath this plate. So it's important to make sure that's cleared out or it can give you false readings. So that's just a thing to check. So we've got a situation where it's reset and we're now ready to measure. So the aim with the plate meter is to try and do 30 measurements per field and, and also avoid unrepresentative areas such as gateways. What you want to do is move across the field in a W formation like you do when you're soil testing and also aim to do a similar route every time you measure that field. to remember with this plate meter is that when you've nearly done 30 measurements on 29 it does a double beep and then on 30 measurements it does a longer beep and that allows you to work out how many you've done in this field. The two things to remember when you are walking across a field is try not to push the handle too far into the soil as it gives unrepresentative readings and also try not to select where you're going to place it try and be more random and again it makes it for a more representative number. So once we've finished measuring the field, on this model, this screen tells us what the kilos of dry matter estimate is for this field. This is the number, so 2194 in this example, that we write down as the measurement for this field. So most producers who use plate meters will start measuring from early spring and continue through the grazing season, perhaps even into the winter. The frequency of which they measure might reduce as grass growth declines as we head into winter. 